All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. It's that time again. We've got another developer's backyard here for Guilty Gears Tribe. Now, recently, you've been watching these videos. I've been saying they've been getting a little bit worse. You know, in the beginning, they were super hype. But the information they've been sharing has kind of been getting a little bit worse and worse and worse each time. Today is pretty good. It's all right. It's not amazing. Not a ton of new content. But it's good to look at, you know, what's been happening in Strive. And if you think about it, last year was a pretty big year. It was a pretty, pretty big year for Guilty Gear. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, like always, like this stuff. You like Strive. Hit the sub button. And if you work at Arxis, fly me out to the finals in March. I can do Grand Blue. I can do Strive. Get my ass out there. I know it's going to be. I know it's going to be the California split again. I, it's over. It's over. Anyway, here we go. So developer backyard. Once again, you have Miyauchi, the producer. He took over about two years ago. And uh, Katano, the old, the old school player right there. So thank you for the support in 2023. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. You look back at 2023. That's a big year. That's a strong DLC roster. So they put Bedman and Delilah, a fan favorite. Asuka, sick ass character. Johnny, sick. Elfelt, uh, fan favorite. But that's a that's a strong year for DLC. The new battle mechanics, uh, they're new. I'll say they're new. Uh, they changed the game, especially a certain uh, white wild assault is what the, the kids call it, and some special moves, right? So it was a good year of development. Uh, so they, they thank you and everything. Good stuff. Uh, they're going to keep going. They're going to keep developing. So here we go. So today we're going to be talking about El Feli. Who the hell is El Feli? But I don't know. They're going to talk about El Feli Valentine, like always do the introduction. The team of three, which we'll talk about later. I know some of you guys are excited. Personally, um, not my cup of tea. The update schedule is really interesting. And then some Q&A. Dude, they used to bring the spicy questions on Q&A. If you're one of the guys writing these questions, put something spicy next time. You guys are asking like the softest questions ever. Remember like, I, can we get more green costumes? Come on, step it up. Anyway, here you go, Elfelt. She's, she's a cutie, man. She's a cutie. So Elfelt, we we're talking about on stream. Uh, of course, you got this huge new redesign. I like it. I don't think your old design was bad. I like it. But the the discourse that happened around this, that was it. That was my breaking point. So Bridget, the Bridget in Strive started it. Once Bridget came out, I was like, I don't think I can really hang with the, these these kids online anymore. I don't want to be part of this discussion. But Elf felt they were getting so tight. The quote when she came out was like, if I showed you this character and didn't tell you who it was, you would you would have no idea who it was. It's Elf. You idiot! You can't tell that's Elfo right there. They were they were going ham at this redesign. They killed her identity. They murdered her. I I think it's cool. I think it's really cool how they just they completely changed. Like oh she you know what she's in a death metal band right now. But they talk about her. The information you already know. Her weight is dreamy. Whatever that means. She likes bush dogs. I don't know what a bush bush dog is. Can someone tell me what that is? But her lore, as someone who doesn't follow fighting game lore really, I just learned it randomly on the side. I learned her lore. It made sense. I was always like, why is she in a death metal band? So apparently she's such a dummy and she's so bad at work at her job that she ran away. She couldn't cut it as a secretary or an assistant or whatever in the office. So she ran away, joined a death metal band, and that's why she makes people smile. Maybe I need to do, I might have to do that, dude, before I get laid off. I don't know. But anyway, very cute. I like, I think I like her better without the headband, to be honest. She a cutie here, but she kind of looks like, she kind of looks like Eno a little bit. Hold on. It's like Tekken when they have like one female model and they just change the hairstyle. She's looking like Eno a little bit, a little, a little sussy. We got cool art right here. Uh, a little extra, more information here. So, like, if you know she got, like, the death metal scream, which is a super, like, shuts out die and everything, that's not the voice actor. They got, like, a death metal singer to record the, the shouts and the growls and the cute anime voice actor to do her voice lines, which is pretty interesting. And then her taunts, I didn't know this either. She's a different taunt for every single character in the game. I'm sure there's a YouTube video you can watch all that, but they said they put a lot of information into it. And then they talked about her play style. This kind of made me laugh. I saw people saying she was easy, but I didn't know she was that easy. So she's five star. She's the easiest rank right there. And then you think about an Exerd. She's a very popular character. She's always been a popular character. But Exerd, I don't really want to say she was a harder character because everyone in that game was hard. But she was a stance character. And they're like, a lot of people were intimidated. They couldn't play her because she was too hard. So they made her, I love this word. They made her more intuitive in Strive. So I was saying, that's the next time I hear anybody like Obama talk about how they dumbed down, they dumbed down my favorite fighting game. Modern fighting games are stupid. They dumbed them down. I'm going to have to correct them. So they did not dumb down the fighting game. They made it more intuitive. Okay. So that's what we say now. Exert wasn't hard. It just was not intuitive gameplay. So we fixed it. We've solved the problem. Modern fighting is more intuitive. Hold that. But yeah, good stuff. She's all right, right? She's easy to play. She's easy to play. She seems like she's fine, right? She's not like broken. She's not super weak. Just a, a fun, easy to play character. Rush down, hold that. Noel too. Now, this is interesting. Team of three. They talk about they're going to add that in 2024, 20, but it says we can't reveal too much. Uh, we've heard a lot of buzz about the new mode and we're excited. So th this is what I want to talk about. I don't care. I'm not saying you shouldn't add it in, and I think it's great, but I just realize now, me personally, as you know, I've been playing fighting games my whole life, 
I really don't care about anything. All I want to do is hop on ranked net play and just play matches. So I'm not saying don't add all this stuff. I just, I'm such a boomer. I'm sorry, I'm just jaded is what I'm saying. Because when I was a kid, when I'm thinking, you know, back in the day when I used to play like, you know, Soul Edge and like Soul Calibur and like Street Fighter Alpha World Tour Mode and even like old Guilty Gear X Story Mode and all that stuff. I would have been so hyped for this. Just don't get old, kids. Don't get old. But it's interesting that a lot of people are really excited for this. You know, I saw Buzz on Twitter as well. So I'm, I'm the outlier, I think. How's it even gonna work? They're hyping it up, so it's not gonna be just like 1v1 and then when one character dies, the next, it's not gonna be KO style, right? That'd be too boring. They're gonna have to do some sort of like tag or something, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, if you guys like this, have fun. Let me know why you like it and let me know as well, but good luck to the devs for making that. Now, season three update, this is uh, interesting to me because there's been a little bit of a lull. So not just for the, the season three, but we'll talk about after the tournament, but this, it feels like Strive is kind of like in a lull right now, but I guess they were getting ready for Grand Blue. Or so I don't know, but so LFL came out and we even heard anything so the next character is going to come march april and then right after that in may is the next one so we're getting two new characters two new stages you know two new songs uh new special move balance changes we're getting a lot of strive stuff in a very short time we have to wait probably so next month is the arc revo finals fly me out please uh they're probably going to announce more the character i would assume they're going to play the trailer there and show the details there so wait for that look forward to that any picks what was the last who was the last original character Happy Chaos? Gold Loose of Season 1. Happy Chaos. Who was the last original character for Strive? Asuka. Asuka was the last one. Sorry, Asuka was the last one. So Asuka was the last original character. One of these is going to probably be an original character, right? I would assume so. I would assume one of these... I don't even... Who, who's left for original character? I don't even know. But yeah, like Jam's an option. Venom's an option. Robokai. I want them to put like Justice in. I want like... I just... Just uh, like a super toxic character. I don't know. I just have some fun with it. But we'll see. But yeah, it's cool. Nice, nice little like update is coming out if you're a Strive player. It's good to see this game, even if you don't like the game, right? If you don't like a fighting game, an update's not going to change it. It's just how it is, right? If you don't like the core of fighting game, it's not going to change it. So if you don't like Strive, it, fine, you don't like Strive. But if you like Strive, look at this. Since the game came out, 13 DLC characters, which is crazy. You got six stages now. Again, they, they're changing the battle. You got new special moves. They're really developing, which is good to see. And the numbers also don't lie. Not to be a Steam chart doom or anything but strive is still doing very well the staying power for this game is just compared to any other like anime game it, it's grand blue already fell off it's over for grand blue strive wins again but it's very interesting to see so congrats to all the uh the strivers out there you got a nice healthy game this is one thing to kind of mention too but it's to me it's kind of weird how they rolling out the new special move so the next axel just got his tornado pot got his flight punch thing the next update is only gonna have one new special move it's kind of weird personally i don't know anything about development i wish they had just kind of like held off and just dumped it all at the same time. But I guess it must be hard to develop this. So, I mean, I can't really complain about it. But maybe in the future, it would be cool if it's like, all right, here is the patch. Every character gets a brand new move because that would really feel like a new game, right? So the next update, one character gets one new special move. It won't really change anything. It won't really feel like anything unless you play that character. So that's kind of my stance on it. Now, question for the player. This one was kind of interesting. They talk about the branding in here. You know how all this, the goofy writing on all strive, like uh, the, where did it come from? So they, they bring up Sin's gear. Ding Dong Ditch is the brand. The, the lore is that this is a brand that exists in the Guilty Gear world. So Sin went to the mall. We went to Amazon.com and he ordered Ding Dong Ditch brand, his favorite. They said other gear, it was made by the players for they use Happy Cast's glass as an example. But I wish I wish I gave more details though, because there's a lot of design in this game. Where did Faust get those those sneakers at, right? Where did Faust get those sneakers at uh, kind of thing? Like who wrote Free or Hope on, on the, the headbands? Like, did they write that themselves? Did they buy it somewhere? That could be a cool little, maybe even when they do a talk, give more information on like all the fashion, all the style in Guilty Gear. Better question, how much does this cost? Isn't Sin like three years old? Where'd he get the money to buy these the, these brand name clothes from? We need the lore. Maybe he stole it. But I, that, like, I, I love this kind of stuff. I wish you could hear more about the in-game lore. Like the invite, what's it called? World building. Mark Man, Rick, make it happen. Get Daisuke for another panel. And I will I will uh, translate it for you. This is mad funny. This this made me laugh. All right, let, read these questions. This one made me laugh. So it feels like in season three, there's been more and more updates making the game more complex. Adding new mechanics, new moves. I understand the updates and key plays interest in the matches. But is the plan to keep making the game more complex going forward? This person is complaining. Do you understand? This person's complaining about Guilty Gear Strive getting new mechanics and becoming more complex. This this is the era we live in now. I was like, all right, someone's angry that they're adding more stuff to the game. As a joke, I said, oh, watch the devs. They're gonna be like, oh, we apologize. We'll make it more intuitive. We'll stop making the game more complex. I said that as a joke. The devs answer, uh, we wanna make the game more fun and compelling. <laughs> For future updates, we intend to address what makes players feel the game is too complex and improve the user experience. They are. 
We apologize for making our fighting game complex. We apologize for adding new mechanics. We will try and make it more intuitive for you. Ah, come on, man. Stick to your guns. I mean, you already sold the copies. You got the co you got their money. You don't need to you can you can make the game harder. My one gripe is that about two years ago in these developer backyards, Kathano said, damn just too high. They 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 just said damn just too high. They're like, we want to work on consistent results. And one way we can do that is adjusting the damage. Because you know, if if it's less explosive, the better players have a higher chance of winning right there. But they they haven't done anything. It's a still it's a one touch to a touch game. So I, I think they might have rolled back on that because that would make it more complex. So We'll see. I would, I would love a little bit of a damage nerf, but I guess it's not coming. Anyway, go over the uh, the tour reviews. I want to talk about this as well. First of all, shout outs again. All these matches are on the YouTube. You haven't watched them, but I kneel to Tempest. This is such a, a crazy feat. I can't, I can't, this has never happened before. Just having like a player in top eight is already like an insane feat, but Tempest went out to Asia, the most stacked region, and he won the event with just killers. Like that's insane. It's unheard of. Tempest, I kneel. Uh, Brazil, we watch this as well. Pep with Johnny, styling and profiling. Again, shout out to Tempest. He could have gone to Brazil. He could have gone to, to France. He could have farmed these two tournaments, which no no insult, but are clearly less uh, stacked than the Asia tournament. And he said, I'm going to Asia. And he won. That's beast beast mode right there. Pep won, did a dance. And then uh, Varex. I think Varex is really cool as well. One in uh, France with Nago. This young kid from Senegal. Never heard of him until Evo. He made a big splash out there. I love how he's... A lot of people get very angry when the boomers stop winning. I understand. I'm a huge Daigo fanboy. Whenever he loses, I get sad. I get salty. But it, it's healthy for new players to win. You know, these aren't just kids. Just, oh, I'm mashing and I won. These, these are kids that are grinding every single day. They're grinding harder than the old heads are kind of coasting. So they deserve to win. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. You boomers got to get over it. Or you got to get hungry. You got to win. Well, it's one of the two. But... They're all going to be qualified. And by the time you watch this video, it'll probably be over. But Frosty Faustings, of course, uh, starting. It already started actually today. What's cool about this, though, is not only will one player qualify automatically, but this is the final chance to get points. So these three people right here, Tiger Pop, Chirata, and Umi Show, these three can qualify, but they have their they, they have their spot sealed, but they could lose it. So Nubenheimer's definitely there. I don't think Mochi went. So I guess it's like Nubenheimer here could steal a spot from one of these guys. So these guys are there, right? These guys are there. They're fighting for their, their Arc Revo spot, which is always hype to see. I love that stuff. And then, of course, Last Chance. Uh, and then the final here, again, another plea. Another cry for help, but the Arc World Tour is back. You know, I got a, I got asked to go to one of the Arc World Tour finals, and then I got the offer taken away. I'm still a little bit tight about that. We would love to have you out here. See some comments. I was like, I would love to go. Thank you very much. And then uh, we decided to go a different route. So, how about this year, boys? Why don't you bring me, bring me on out there? But it's happening uh, end of next month. Bad news for me though, it's going to be in Long Beach, California. So I want to congratulate James Chen, Rin, Sejam, Steve. Maybe the fly yipes out. I hope yipes can get out there, but. Hit me up. Arcs, hit me up. I can do Strive. I can do Grand Blue. I can translate. I can tell you about Japan. Whatever you need. But that's it for this one. So, like I said, it's all right. The uh, developer backyard, they're not as crazy as they used to be, but they're getting a little bit better. A little bit more information. Uh, I wish people would ask some crazier questions. Maybe I call them. Anonymous fan. Will you get Giuna for Arc Revo Finals, please? Email not Juna at hotmail.com. And I agree. And maybe next time we do Dwellers Backyard, we can see this. We'll see this question in there. Look at that. It's amazing. But you guys can ask your own questions, whatever you want. And if you're still watching, thank you. Let me know. Like I said, nothing too crazy. It was nothing like crazy information, but it's good to look back on last year was a big year of uh, for Strive. Also, don't forget, it was the main game at EVO. Or sorry, Street Fighter 6 was the main game at EVO. Uh, two years ago was the main game, but it was the second biggest game. We had the arena, big left one with Happy Chaos, but it's crazy that this game, when this game come out? 2021? Whatever, whenever it came out. 2022, it's been a while, but it's still going strong. You love to see it. It's a new generation, so congrats to all of them. Anyway, uh, like always, hit the sub button, you're still watching. I hope I'll catch you at the Arc Revo Finals, but even if not, I'll be watching the Frosty Foul Sings Finals. So if you want to see more Strive, like I said, hit the sub button. I'll see you next one. Peace.